Oh my god, it understood. Maybe I'm not terrible at Korean. Good morning. I snoozed for only a couple of minutes today, so it's not too late. The weather's been so nice lately, so I have my window open. There's a nice breeze and the birds are chirping, so that makes it a little easier to wake up. You've probably seen my morning routine a bunch of times now, so we'll go quick through this part. After some stretching and exercises. Skincare and a cold shower. Finally, moisturizing and listening to the news. I sat down for some journaling. So lately when I've been journaling in the morning, in addition to just like writing whatever's on my mind, I've also added in a scripting paragraph, which is where I write about how the day went, imagining that I am now at the end of the day and just like looking back on it and reflecting on it. So I'll write about how amazing it went, what specific good things happened, um, even though they have not yet happened. And then I've also been doing um, a couple of sentences on, okay, one second. This is the book I'm currently reading. I'm actually rereading it, but this time I'm taking it a lot more seriously and I'm actually doing all the exercises because there's a lot of exercises. And the first time I read this, I was too lazy to do any of them. But like there's stuff at the end of every chapter to fill out. So I've been working on that. So that's my weird little journaling practices for the day. Now it's time to plan my day. So I'm gonna open up my to-do list. Because I'm filming a day in the life video, I know that everything will take longer than it usually does. I'm really not meant to be a vlogger. It stresses me out having to film throughout the day because I feel like I have someone just following me around the entire day and I always have to be thinking about what should I show them? What should I tell them? How do I keep them entertained? So no offense to you watching this, but I am looking forward to being done with this. Okay, let's take a look at this to-do list. So normally I study Korean for two hours a day, but I'm just gonna do one because I did three yesterday. So we're gonna do one hour of Korean, half hour of Spanish. Today's a Thursday, so I have a new video going up tomorrow, so I have to prep and upload that. I love doing this time blocking thing on calendar because otherwise, like, I would just be throwing stuff into my to-do list with no idea whether that's actually realistic. Lately, I've also been trying to do workouts before lunch rather than in the evening, so I'm gonna say an hour to work out and shower. Nothing crazy. Okay, I'll also do my midweek planning. I started this a few weeks ago, and I've been doing it on Wednesday days but now i'm thinking thursdays might be better because i would do it wednesday morning which is like really not the middle of the week it's only like two days into the week and then there's five more days so i think thursday morning makes more sense low thinking task is pretty much just going to be posting on instagram and responding to stuff and then i'll have lunch at 1 30. so the really nice thing about today is i have not been home alone in so long but the universe aligned today and i'm actually going to be home alone from like 10 a.m to late evening i would say so i think that'll make filming this a lot easier for me because i won't feel super awkward i also should respond to some emails i've been I haven't been doing great at that. You probably heard me talk about like inbox zero on my channel and I actually have not been doing that. Not that I've been slacking, it's kind of been like a decision that I've made because I feel like back when I did inbox zero, which was mainly like during high school, the emails and messages that I had to respond to were very quick things, just like updates and check-ins. Whereas now it's like a lot more work to answer these emails. And so what would happen was I would try to be answering them during my bedtime routine and it would end up taking way longer than it needed to. So I decided that where I am in life right now, no one needs to hear back from me like that very same day. So I decided it's okay to take a few days to respond to emails. I did briefly consider putting on a nice outfit for this video, but I also wanted to be realistic and actually show what I wear at home. So these pants are so comfortable. Look at, look at how far they stretch. Okay, what else did you want to see? Online class routine, I'm not in classes. The process of making an Instagram post, I can't really show you that because it's a secret, no. I prepare a bunch of posts ahead of time, I write the captions, I edit the photos, so today I'll just be posting something. The scenery around your house, are you trying to figure out where I live? Wow, my morning routine took an hour and eight minutes, whereas normally it takes me like 45.
have a seat. Let's eat. So normally I put lemon on my avocado toast, but tragically we do not have lemon today. So I'm gonna try putting balsamic vinegar on it. This might be terrible, but I already put balsamic vinegar on the eggs and vegetables. So what's a little more balsamic vinegar? I don't wanna like soak the toast. So I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time. It's not lemon, but it's okay. already used up one camera battery so I don't know how I'm gonna get through a full day of filming with just the two batteries that I have oops okay so we are about 12 minutes behind schedule people haven't asked me like the schedules that I create for myself do I actually estimate correctly and can I actually follow them and for the most part yes it's just the problem is I don't know how long stuff takes me if I'm also vlogging at the same time but we'll do our best Oh my god, I just stumbled upon this email. This was March 10th, 2019. 500 subscribers. Now I can fill 130 jumbo jets. Yay! So in last week's video, I talked about how it's important to cover all the aspects of language learning. So I just did some vocab. Normally I would study some grammar, but I'm only studying for an hour today. But now I am going to use HelloTalk to practice with some native speakers. So this app has more than 20 million users worldwide and over 150 languages are exchanged on here. So pretty much any language you're learning, I think you'll be able to find a language partner. Say you're a native English speaker and you're studying Korean, it'll match you with people who are native Korean speakers studying English so you can scroll through here you can also look in other ways so aside from best match you can see who is online who is nearby if you chose to share your location so this is my profile please follow me I only have six followers it's very sad so with a free membership you can set one language that you're learning but since I have VIP I also set Spanish I have my interests here YouTube cooking movies music long walks on the beach I've got my little self introduction and you can also record an audio introduction that's really quiet we don't have to hear that I try not to spend too much time on social media aside from what I do for the bliss bean but I feel like this is a really good loophole because moments are just like social media posts but it's all about language learning so for example a few days ago I shared my breakfast and then people comment in Korean to help me practice let's let's see what messages I've got one of my favorite things about learning Korean is that if I accidentally type one thing wrong, I have no idea what new meanings I will create. So recently, I wanted to say something very simple, just I have been learning Korean for almost two years, and I mistyped one letter, and it translated as I have been putting Korean to sleep or something like that. So let's just check to make sure. So here I click translate. Yeah, that's correct. There's like no subject in that second sentence, so it just assumed it was she, but it's Jeff. We're talking about Jeff. I'm gonna try not to type it out first, I'm just gonna say it. 영어 단어랑 문법 중에 um, 가장 어려운 것이 뭐예요? That might have been really bad. Let's see if it can even transcribe what I said. Oh my god, it understood! Maybe I'm not terrible at Korean. Okay, now I'm gonna write it in English and record an audio file so that Jeff can practice as well. I have too many keyboards on my phone. Between English vocabulary and grammar, Okay, let's check out my other friend. We just started our conversation. This is just the beginnings of our friendship. Okay, so her hobbies are watching movies and reading. She said, nice to meet you, but I don't understand the beginning. So let's translate that. Oh, she was just saying her name. Okay, this person also wants to practice Spanish. I do consider myself a bit of a Spanish expert. I'm absolutely kidding about that. Wow, suddenly I feel like I've forgotten all the Spanish that I know. That red line, stop, stop. Okay, let's finish up by checking out the moments wall. So there's different categories, like here you can see posts from people who are learning English so you can help them. Here you can see posts in Spanish or Korean so you can practice. When you create a moment, you can add a topic to it so that you can tell people what it's about. I don't know if I have anything interesting to share today, so I'm just gonna look at other people's posts. <laughs> but when native speakers say they don't even notice your accent. Oh my God, that looks so good. 
Okay, we're like a half hour behind schedule now, but I'm gonna go take a little break and then we're gonna still study Spanish. The show must go on. I'm only gonna study for 25 minutes and I've been reading Eat, Pray, Love in Spanish, so I'll just keep working on that, study some vocab. Let's do this. For midweek planning, I have a little flashcard with my routine on it. Here it is. Focus, focus. There we go. So I'm gonna start with doing some journaling. Uh, pen, 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 pen. You know when Jimmy Fallon does his thank you notes and he's like, Okay, now that I have journaled for a bit, I have to look over my reminders for the week and the things that I said I was excited about. I've been doing really well on all of these. So last week, I only did my bedtime routine like 50% of the time, but this week I've been doing it every day. I have been doing daily exercise and I have been trying to do it before lunch and I have been eating more vegetables. Okay, review 2020 intentions. That's this list right here. So normally what I do is I read over it and I just think about how well have I actually been living that in my life so far this week. Sorry, I keep getting distracted with what's out the window. Squirrel. So yeah, and then I just journal. I might write down some ideas for how to improve on that in the second half of the week. I normally take a look at like what posted goals I have on my wall up here, but my only goal right now is working on my course and that's going well. So then I take a highlighter and any like concrete steps that I wrote about, I just highlight that. So then for the next step, when I'm looking over my to-do list for the second half of the week and editing it, rearranging it, I can add in anything that I thought of now. I've actually been doing like really, really well this week and just staying really happy and inspired. And I think it's because I have this course to work on. Like I just thrive when I have things to to do. Yesterday I had a Korean lesson and my teacher asked me, um, so when are your feelings good? When are you happy? And I had to answer using the grammar that we learned. So I said, when I'm busy, I'm happy. And I don't mean busy just like having a lot of busy work or having a packed schedule, but just like these days, I feel like I have a lot of projects that I'm really passionate about that I can work on and fill my time with. And I just think I'm a lot happier in times like these rather than when I have nothing to do. Like even even though working on my course has been a lot of work, I've put in about 38 hours this month so far and it's been confusing at times and stressful at times. Overall, I'm so excited about it and so inspired by it and I feel like it's the main reason behind my happiness at the moment. I sent this to one of my Hello Talk people. I was so proud of understanding this in the office because they didn't have subtitles for it. <laughs> the next thing I have to do is upload my new video. Um, I'm gonna move to my standing desk because I'm tired of sitting and I'm gonna try to do it as fast as I can. got myself a waffle because it looks like lunch is gonna be later than planned and I don't want to exercise without food in me. My dad makes these waffles with cottage cheese and um, kefir. Is that how you say it in English? We say kefiras in Lithuanian. But yeah, so they're, oops, they're high protein as well. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, back to work. I'm 
actually really happy with how this thumbnail turned out. I'm so excited for this video. I hope you guys like it. All right, so now I'm gonna get dressed and ready to work out. My family actually still has not left the house. Not that I want them to leave. I actually don't want them to come back late because I wanted to spend time with them in the evening, but it's okay. I'm 19. I can handle it. I can handle being alone. My legs are already kind of sore, so I'm a little nervous about this. Ting video that has like more than a hundred million views by now. I'm not doing the full two week shred, I'm just doing the abs video, just adding it on to my regular stuff that I do. So don't worry, I'm not gonna do one of those before and after videos. I should make that the title of this video and then do a thumbnail where I like push my stomach out on one side and then flex in the other side, and then I'll be like, wow, results. Huh. I wash my hair like once or twice a week, which is good for your hair because if you shampoo it too much, then it like overcompensates and produces more oil. I'm still out of breath. The days that you don't wash it, you're not supposed to use water because that just makes your hair even greasier. Or so I've heard, I've never dared to try it. So instead what you do is after a sweaty workout, you just have to brush the sweat and distribute it throughout your hair basically, which I know is really disgusting, but that's how you gotta keep your hair healthy. So after I finish my sweat distribution and face hydration, I'm gonna post on Instagram and then go eat lunch. Ooh, I look sweaty. Is there a setting on this camera to make me look less sweaty? No, that's not a thing cameras can do. It's lunchtime, we're gonna have some lunch. We have a lot of leftovers at the moment, but I don't know what I'm gonna have for protein, cause it's just like vegetables. Oh, we have soup. Oh my, okay, done. Oh my goodness, done, done. Daily habits, non-negotiables you do daily. It's like my morning routine, drinking water, meditating, bedtime routine. You'll get to see all of that. How you keep in touch with your friends and family during social distancing. Well, my family's gone today, so I'm not keeping in touch with them. Yesterday I called a friend, but today I am not doing that. The self-care, how you plan out breaks and rest periods for yourself. Times like this are really important to me because like eating meals and just focusing on eating and not trying to eat and work at the same time. Oh gosh. <laughs> not trying to eat and work at the same time. Usually I don't go on my phone, but I'm making an exception because I'm filming this video. But it's just really refreshing to have little breaks like that throughout the day. And then as I'm working, I usually take five minute breaks. Um, and then usually in the evening, I just take some time to chill. I've been finding that I actually get like another burst of energy in the late evening. So what I'll do is I'll relax in the early evening and then go back to work late evening because that makes me feel a whole lot better than working all the way to the end of the day and then relaxing right before bed. I made this banana bread a while ago and no one else in my family is eating it. It's made from oat flour, so it's like a healthy banana bread, so it does taste healthy. Like, it's good for a healthy banana bread, but it definitely doesn't taste like a regular banana bread. I normally would like wash the dishes or put away the dishes from the dishwasher now. So there's a problem with our sink right now where underneath the sink, it's leaking. And so whenever we're not using it, we have to turn off the hot water. It's really easy to turn it on and off. The problem is if you forget. So my dad said, don't use the hot water while we're gone because there's a 50-50 chance that you're gonna forget and you're gonna flood the kitchen. On the one hand, I'm 
offended that he lacks trust in me. On the other hand, he's absolutely right. So it looks like he washed the dishes so that I wouldn't be tempted to turn on the hot water. I'm gonna be doing some cooking today though, so I'll have to wash the vegetables in like ice cold water. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna meditate. So the meditation I've been doing for, I think this past month, is this abundance meditation that I downloaded from Kimberly Wenya. It guides you to like lie down and put your arms by your side and just let your ankles roll outward, which was really nice and comfortable the first few times. But then I just, I started, I don't know if I was fully falling asleep, but I would suddenly realize that the meditation finished a few minutes ago and I never heard the end of it. So since I'm especially feeling tired today for some reason, I'm just gonna sit up. I think that would be better. Now we're gonna get ready to film! I've definitely mentioned in other videos that I know almost nothing about makeup, but I try my best. I'm not a beauty YouTuber, so there are no expectations for how well I do. So the course is going live on June 1st. As I'm filming this, I have not announced that yet, but by the time it goes up, you will know. It's going up on Monday, and I normally upload only on Fridays, but there's going to be an extra video this week. So today I have to film all of Friday's video, talking in B-roll. I have to film five pep talks, so I'm trying to like batch that process. I'm going to be uploading pep talks every Wednesday once a week, and since they're pretty easy to do, I just want to get a bunch done all at once. The actual filming is probably my least favorite part of making YouTube videos. I would say my favorite part is uploading and promoting stuff because you get to like pull everything together and polish it up and share it with the world. But the filming can be exhausting, at least for me. I don't know. Blush, 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 blush. Also, I'm worried I'm going to run out of battery. That's a very serious possibility. I kind of want to buy another battery, but they're kind of expensive because I like to buy the authentic ones because I just don't want to waste money on something that's not going to work properly. I have this one friend who ripped out a bunch of her eyelashes one time when she was curling them so now every single time that I curl mine, I just, I think about her. I'm so boring with my hair. You don't come to my channel for the hair, you come for the productivity tips. I don't know what you come for, actually. I'm gonna wear this turtleneck dress thing and I'm keeping my pants on because they're comfortable and no one's gonna see. This is truly the epitome of fashion right here. I'm holding like $3,500 worth of equipment right now. Be realistic about what you can accomplish in the amount any amount of time that you Okay, I just finished filming the talking part for this video. Now I have to film my pep talks and I'm trying to think if I should change the background, if I should even change outfits. Is it worth it? Is it worth the time? Honestly, I kind of like this color scheme of like the red pillow, the red dress. Maybe I'll just keep it. I feel like the content of the pep talks is more important than like how many outfits I own. So here's what happened. I filmed that one video, the, the video that's going up on Monday, and then I filmed all of the pep talks. I was really happy with how the pep talks turned out, but I was looking at the footage for the video and my hair was just sticking out weirdly on this side of my, um, face that's what it's called oh uh, and it bothered me so much and i had like this internal struggle where i was like is this really a good use of my time and energy to re-record that entire thing i texted a friend i sent him a clip and i was like does this look weird enough to make it worth re-recording it he said yes it does look a little bit weird but he would not have noticed if i had not pointed it out but honestly before he even messaged me back i decided that i was going to refilm it so i just did that and i'm happy i did i think this one is going to look a lot better and it actually only took me 50 15 minutes. I seriously have been like forcing all of the energy out of my body that I have to try and look energetic and excited on camera. I think I'm gonna print out my workbook now. Okay, so I'm just, you need to replace the following in cartridges. Well, it looks like our printer is completely out of yellow ink, so it refuses to print anything. I also don't have access to a car, so I can't get anywhere, and I also don't think any of the stores that sell ink would be open. Darn it! You know, okay, this is probably gonna turn out for the better because today I'll focus on getting good B-roll for my video, 
And then with a fresh creative eye, I can probably get better footage and photos tomorrow of the workbook. Isn't it so funny, but like not funny at all, how printers never work when you most need them? How dare they? I really wanted to show more of the behind the scenes of the course creation process in this video, but this is a more realistic look at the process because things often go wrong and you just gotta adjust. So when I film B-roll, I make a list of what I need to record in Trello. Um, I don't believe I organized this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through it and just rearrange things in an order that makes logical sense so like clips that need to be filmed at my desk I'll film all of those together etc my brain is just all I don't even know I'm just tired I am excited about the stuff I filmed today though so it'll be fun to edit now I'm gonna change out of these clothes and go cook and eat the best part of the day. So for dinner, like I said, we have a bunch of leftovers, just no like protein. So I'm just gonna cook some chicken breast and then I'm gonna cut up these onion and bell peppers for breakfast. For the chicken, we just have this Bucky Badger chicken rub. Gotta represent Wisconsin. Oh yeah, that was a lot. Use a little or a lot, it's all up to your taste buds. Okay, you know what? You only live once. While I cook, I've been meaning to check out the Office Ladies podcast, so I think that's what I'm gonna listen to. Hello everybody, this is Jenna Fisher. Hi, this is Angela Kinsey. And this is our very first Office Ladies podcast. taking so long to cook so I decided to just sit on the couch for a while and listen to the podcast. Once it was done I heated up a plate of food for myself and while I was eating my family came home. After dinner, I responded to a bunch of emails and a couple of letters. I wrote a few letters to friends. This is my box of notes and letters. It actually got full recently, so I took some time to clean it out, and I realized that I was keeping a bunch of stuff that had like no meaning to me. So for example, I had a bunch of cards from graduation where it was just like a store-bought card and someone wrote their name on it. So I don't know why I even kept that in the first place, but I sorted out all of that stuff, and now I have a pretty small amount of letters, but they're all really meaningful to me and things that I like looking back at. So yeah, I think it's nice to have a little box some letters. And then these two I have to send. I guess this is goodbye for this video. I hope this was interesting to watch. It's not a super realistic depiction of my day because just the fact that I had a camera with me changes it so much, but it's a decent representation. I'm gonna go stretch now and then I'm gonna sleep. Good night.